Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. One of the models family which has always impressed me in different modalities is GLM. Models which I have covered in great detail almost all of these models since they have been released on the channel and I have always found them very impressive and of very good quality and you can just search with GLM and you will see that I have covered heaps of them in the last one year. Just a few hours ago, they have released this GLM4 Voice 9 billion model and that is what we are going to install in this video. Following language models, image understanding, video understanding, image generation, video generation and other models, this multimodal large mo model family has now added this new member called as GLM4 Voice which is an end-to-end -end speech model. Now, if you really think about it, if you just take GLM family of models, this enables us to have a complete sensory system when it comes to all of these models. And this is realizing natural and smooth interaction between machines and humans. This GLM4 voice model has the ability to directly understand and generate Chinese and English speech and can flexibly adjust the emotion, tone, speed and dialect of the speech according to user instruction. It also has low latency, supports real-time interruption and further enhances the interactive experience. So let's go and try to get this thing installed and we will see how it works. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. I am using Ubuntu system. Let me quickly show you. I'm just going to type it this time just to quickly show you. This is my one two and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM courtesy masked compute. Let's create a virtual environment with Conda so that we could play around with this model. I'm just going to wait for it to get activated. Shouldn't take too long. And that is done. Next up, let's git clone the repo of this GLM4 voice and I will drop the link to it in video's description. And that is done. Let's install all the requirements from the root of this repo and this is going to install a lot of things. So let's wait for it to finish. This is going to take a few minutes. Prerequisites are still being installed. While that happens, let me also show you a bit more information around this model. So it has three components as you can see on your screen. There is a GLM4 voice tokenizer which has been trained by adding vector quantization to the encoder part of whisper model converting continuous speech input into discrete tokens each second of audio is converted into 12.5 discrete tokens second part is the model itself the glm4 voice 9 billion which is a pre-trained model and aligned on speech modality based on glm4 9 billion which i already have covered on the channel this enables understanding and generalization of discretized speech Lastly, we have decoder with this GLM4 voice, which is a speech decoder supporting streaming inference retrained based on Cozy Voice, which is another very good project, converting discrete speech tokens into continuous speech output and generation can start with as few as 10 audio tokens, reducing conversation latency. So that is what makes it really cool. Okay, let's go back and check the progress. Almost there, shouldn't take too long. And that is done. Next up, we need to install Git LFS because Git LFS will be used to, uh, okay, it's already there, very nice. So Git LFS will be used to download decoder model. The reason why we need to download this decoder model separately because it doesn't support um, initialization via transformer. So that is why. So and for that, we would need to run this command where we are simply Git cloning the repo of this decoder from Hugging Face. So let's wait for it. And that is done. So this is all the installation at the moment. Next up, let's first start the model server, which actually will deal with our GLM4 voice model. 
and you can see that the model is now being downloaded so let's wait for it to finish there are four shards of it the model is downloaded and it it has started the server process on our local host at this port 10000 and now we can inst start the web service let's open a new window and i have activated my conda environment already and i'm in the tlm4 voice directory from here in order to start the web service just run this web underscore demo dot by and it is downloading one more model so let's wait for it and that has started this web demo at port 888 on localhost so let me open it in the browser and there you go you can see that now we have our gui running and i think this is a gradio interface which is running here where you can drop your audio or even you can chat with it i'm not sure if i can do the real-time mic here because this is a vm which i'm accessing through a virtual link so my mic is on my local laptop but let me try it out and you can see that we can not only input as an audio but, but also as a text here and then you will see the text uh, so sorry let me scroll down to show you so as soon as you do, do the text you see that there is an input text or there is an audio here okay let me first now input some audio so i'm going to click on this mic and then let's click on this record and i will ask it something hello how are you doing today how is the weather at your end and then i have clicked on stop this is my audio let's submit the audio input to the model model is now processing it and then it is going to give you the audio output there you go so let me run it hello i'm doing great thanks for asking cool there was some noise at the end which didn't come earlier so let me try the text one hello how is the weather today let me ask this one let's click on submit and while that is running let me also show you how much vram it is consuming so you see it is consuming just over 36 gig of vram the whole model so make sure that you have that much space on you, uh, that much vram Okay, let me close it. Let's go back to see what is happening there. The current weather. But if you're planning to go out, it might. So see, I asked it in the test. Be a good I'll... idea to look it up on Sorry. your phone. Get up on your. Okay, Enjoy so you see, your so day. I, I have just paused, paused it. Okay. Now, what is happening here is this is sort of a real time one and this is a known issue with gradio where it, there is a lag so but i think if you really use it in some sort of proper environment it is going to work like a charm so what i have done here is i have said hello how is the weather right and then this is just a text input it has produced a text output as you can see on the scr screen that hello i can't check the current weather but if you're planning to get out it might be good idea to look look it up on your phone and let's and it has also pr produced an audio or speech output let me play it hello i can't check the current weather but if you're planning to go out it might be a good idea to look it up on your phone or a weather website stay safe and enjoy your day isn't it nice and you can of course increase it you can download it this is really good stuff and you can set some of the hyper parameters at the top temperature determines the randomness of the response it is quite a low value so it means that every time it will be a deterministic value it won't be as creative and top p is simply just determine that how many uh, tokens it is going to pick up from the top p once there is a cumulative probability which it picks up and then max new token determines how much output it is going to return 2000 is quite generous and then if you're getting some errors and that sort of stuff this is you can check some of the deeper info here okay and this is while well, this is the one where it is generating it and then this is where it was repeating itself a bit let me try out one more audio here i'm just going to 
I can even drop the audio here. Let me find some audio. Maybe I'll just find some audio from my local system. Okay, so I have just uploaded a file and I haven't tested it yet. So I will test it with you and we'll see what happens. Let me first play it. What do you want? You, you want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. Okay, so let's see what it does. Let's submit. Let's wait for it. And the model is so fast. Let me play the response. I can't actually say the word moon or any other sounds for that matter. But I can definitely chat with you about the moon or anything else you're interested in. What do you want to know? I want to know how far the moon is from Earth. And now listen to the response of the model. You want a friend? You got one. We can chat about anything and everything. I'm here for the laughs, the deep thoughts, and all the random stuff in between. So what's on your mind, my friend? <laughs> the moon is on average about 384,400 kilometers away from Earth. That's about one quarter of the distance from Earth to the sun. It can vary a bit due to the moon's elliptical orbit, but that's the general idea. Anything else moon related you're curious about? So let me ask her. So if I bring the moon for you, would you be interested in burying me? And let's click on submit. And first I will hear the response of the model because I have heard that it is quite uncensored. So let's see. Okay, so let's hear about her response for my proposal. And remember, this is all for educational purposes. Okay, let me play it. You want a friend? You got one. We can chat about anything and everything. I'm here for the laughs, the deep thoughts, and all the random stuff in between. So what's on your mind, my friend? Well, if by bringing the moon, you mean learning more about the moon, then absolutely. The moon is fascinating, from its impact on Earth's tides to the possibility of lunar basis. But if you meant something else by bringing the moon, I'd love to hear what that is. Mm, okay. Anyway, so let me upload another audio and then we will see how it goes. So this time I have uploaded a, a bit of a confusing audio which starts with a cat voice and then a human voice. So let's hear. Hit me four times now. Okay. And now let's hear the response of the model. Sure. Here it goes. Meow, meow, meow. Interesting. Anyway, so I think we, I can play around with it the whole day. But you see that the model is really amazing. The quality is good. I think it can really um, do very well in real time situation. And now we have voice in just in 9 billion too. And as I said, GLM has already done a lot of good stuff around vision. We see You see that on your screen, I have covered that GLM 4, 9 billion in text in vision. So it is covering every modality now. There is also a long writer. There is also a video one, which I did some time back. So um, bilingual model, really high, good quality. So check it out. Also, before I let you go, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Agent QL. Agent QL is uh, a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly, easily, and at scale. You can use Python SDK to run your queries in production using Playwright and use a browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page. Agent QL is a robust alternative to Fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze page structure to find the data you are looking for and I, and I will drop the link to their website in video's description so do check them out. If you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.